Hi, Dr. Robinson here with a lesson on how to take PDF files, change them into Word, make additions, corrections, annotations, anything else that you need, and then turn them back into a PDF if that is what your teacher uh, desires. So the first thing I need you to do is to download these files. I'm going to Windows E, which is where everything immediately arrives. Most people will hit the start key, type in downloads, go to their downloads. You could go to downloads there, but you don't need to. And if you remember the name of your file, you can do first letter navigation and go right to it. Uh, your talking software works great with this. I've got it off right now so it does not compete for my voice. So this is how you tackle a PDF. You arrow to it, get to it one way or another. You're going to hit your applications key or shift F10. I'm going to hit my applications key. And I'm going to go uh, down to open with. You're going to notice that open with the H is underlined so you can hit H very, very quickly and go there. You're going to right arrow and you are going to up arrow one time to choose another app and you're going to hit enter. A dialog box opens and you will hear OK, so you need to tab one time. Now you should hear the default as open as Adobe Acrobat Reader. You don't want to do that because it is an Adobe Acrobat. You could open it and just listen to it. That doesn't do you much good because you need to write on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and go down arrow and I'm going to hear more apps and I'm going to hit enter. And that opens up a whole bunch uh, more apps. So I'm going to continue to down arrow and sure enough, I find Word and I'm going to hit enter on it and give it a second to translate it from a PDF to a Word document. Okay, now you will get a warning box that opens up and says it's working on translating this. I've already translated it uh, to check it all out because it could also not be a true PDF. And if it's a not a true PDF, you have to tackle it a different way. If it is a true PDF and you know, you open it and it will read and this reads beautifully in Adobe. But once again, you can't write on it. Uh, okay, so what you're going to do, I'm going to Alt V and then Z to increase the size of this so you can see what's, that, what's going on. Uh, it is all accessible now and it will read fantastic. Uh, so let's go ahead and just down arrow. It will read for you. You come down to name and you just type in name and down to date, Alt N D, enter, insert your date and you go down into your table and it will say table at that point where my cursor is it's going to say three of three so i'm going to shift tab back to my first column and right there it's going to say one of one because it is in row one column one and you're going to hear act tab across central idea stages and act tab important details and questions continue to tab because it moves you back to your first column and it says introduction and you tab over. So, and if you forget what heading was that, you can just up arrow and quickly listen and down arrow and go back and start typing information. So let me just type in information here so you can see how well it works. Let's say the child needs to annotate this. So with a control shift E, and that is a command that automatically turns on annotation and I don't know uh, put whatever okay and the child can actually annotate directly on the page now if it is not set up correctly let me take you through that you need to get up to your ribbon with alt R alt R takes you to the review tab I have 365, so my command is TD to get me to all markups. So I'm going to TD. And you want to down arrow to all markup. And I'm going to escape out of that because I already uh, that's where I want it to be. You also need to do TM uh, to the next one. And you need to actually tell it what you want to have inserted here. 
and I want everything, so everything is checked. I'm gonna hit escape again. The next one is reviewing ping, so TP, and it basically asks you, well, how do you want this to be reviewed? Do you want to review it vertical or horizontal? And mine just moves with my screen, so it's gonna move it down vertically on the screen, and so I'm gonna hit escape on that. Now, when uh, a child comments on that, and that's a whole other different lesson, you can actually go in and you can accept all of these changes. That's one way to make uh, comments, Control Shift E. The other one is new comment, and I've left my ribbon open because you will see up there is new comment, C2. So I'm actually going to add a comment box to this also, so I'm gonna hit C and two. And a comment box actually opens up and the child can make a comment uh, like um, add uh, more information. Okay, Just get the idea and you can hit enter on it and add more. When you're done with that, you hit escape and you get out. Okay, so that's how you can write information, you can annotate. Now, after you are done, and let's say the teacher does not want you to keep it in a Word format, but wants you to put it back into a PDF, hit your F12. Uh, go ahead and label it. I'm going to keep it uh, that same label, and I'm gonna tab, and I'm gonna hit P for PDF, and I'm gonna hit Enter. And I wait for it, and it says we can't save this file because it's read-only. <laughs> because I did not save it, so we need to save it first. So F12, and I need to save it because I did redo that. I have never had a copy of this before, so I need to go ahead and save it. And it's if I do Alt-D, I can see that, and it will tell me it's saved in my downloads. Once I know where it's saved, I Alt-S. Okay, ta-da, Alt-S. Now you can save it as a PDF, but you do need to save it first. So I love hiccups because we learned so much for that. Okay, here we go. So now same label, and I'm going to tab and hit P for PDF, and I hit enter. And it says you already have a file named da 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 because I had that as a PDF. Well, yeah, I wanna go ahead and replace it. So Alt Y, okay, and I'm replacing it. And da da, here it is in my PDF. I'm just gonna take my mouse and scroll down. It is a perfect PDF. Uh, all this information is right here. The students' uh, initials will be there as well as the comments um, because this is the way a lot of teachers uh, edit work. But anyway, the child has incredible ability to do anything anyone else has done. And most people look at this and think, wow, cool, how did that kid do that? Well, you don't need to tell all your secrets. Okay, so that is how you change PDFs quickly into a word and you can change it back if you would like. And that's how you change PDFs into Word and make them accessible.